sister and this is Haruna Stamarduk, uh, chapter 15, 15, part 2. I want to talk about teleportation, still sounds like magic to me, said Kano. It has nothing to do with magic. My blood is just special like that. Hearing this made kind of fun a little. I think he was remembering Mersamit's infamous corrosive, corrosive blood. I'm too worried about Mersamit's dangerous blood. Just in case I decided to prepare an obvious trap around the citadel. It was set to activate the minute that Mersamit's army came within sight. Depending on how the battle went, it's what the area might do. Should I lose the area would slay, would, would slay Bersamet's army? Yes, it is always good to plan for eventuality. After this short conversation, Kano went to carry out my task. While he was gone, I settled my trap area around the citadel. When I was done, I bring my grandma and what, and what she would do should I lose. I promised her that I was going to tell you, May said, and the person might never harm anyone she cared for. Around sunset appeared, I prepped my, my fighting gear. After dinner, I spent the rest of the night crafting aria after aria. Each one was deadly and then the last. By then, I was completely done with all of my preparations for battle. It was around that time when Kano returned. Trembling, he said, Bersame has accepted your challenge. When the sun rose the following morning, I saw a sea of circus coming our way. I got out of the castle and stood before the army. Person was standing, was leading the charge, wearing a, a bloodshot armor. A duel was going to take place in the open field before the castle. It was a very sunny, beautiful day. There was not a cloud in the sky. From time to time, I could hear the birds chirping. There were even a few spring flowers here and there. The beauty, of, the beauty of the day completely ruined the mood for a final battle. Uh, the time? In 12 minutes. In the end, nature was always indifferent to our daily lives. I placed my hand to my heart and I whispered, human body of mind, <laughs> don't fail me now. When Brother Ben saw me alone, he started laughing. He told me to join in the mockery. Sneering, he said, boy. You must really have a death with your something. Look, you prove your point. We are all impressed by your bravery and stupidity. Submit and I will not touch your hair on anyone that's hiding inside that castle. Cockily, I responded. The time for talking is over, Bert. I mean, today you die by my hands. Alright, so yeah, the next chapter is the final battle with that battle.